so today in this runtime generated word system we are going to work on uh, object volume pattern for animal spawning system that we implemented yesterday so what that means is here you can see these red lines represents the places that we spawn these animal characters and if i speed up a little bit you can see the red lines that means more and more animals are being spawned into the world and after a while now you see blue lines what that means is this is only for representation purposes so that i can explain this easily so the lines doesn't matter actually for the system so what this blue lines means is now instead of spawning i am relocating the animals that i had in uh, for far away tile in the current tiles that are more closer to the fair player so using that way i can always have animals in the world without overloading the system uh, by reusing the animals uh, that i have already spawned into the world so we will be always having set maximum number of animals which is good for performance uh, of the game so yeah that's what we are going to work on today object pooling pattern for the animal spawner and before we get started with today's tutorial i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel so there are over 1700 videos that covers various different topics in unreal engine and for each video project file is available for you to download each video contains the link in description of the video and once you become a member you can download any project file without a limit all right so let's get back to today's tutorial so at the moment what we are doing is instead of uh, relocating or pulling the animal characters I just spawn and destroy them that's basically what happens as of the episode that we worked on last time at the end of that episode so here you see we only have blue lines as I had explained in the introduction and no we only go red lines no blue lines that means we don't have a polling system yet okay so to implement that let's go to the code this is where i remove the tile this tile represents an area in the world and i have kept a reference to all the animal objects or bones that I have spawned into the world that I can access by this tile center because I have this animals of tile map that I have defined here so this animals of tile map contains an array inside this structure here we have an array called spawned animals which I can use to manipulate the animal characters that I have spawned that belongs to a certain tile now just like this we would need another data uh, structure uh, another variable that holds the pooled animals by pooled what that means is when player leaves a certain area far enough in the world I'm gonna mark the animal characters in that area as available for relocating so whenever I have to spawn or add animal characters in a tile closer to the player I'm just gonna take one of them from the available pool and relocate them into the tile closer to the player so that we don't have to spawn a new character so for that here actually we gonna have multiple types of animals 
is in this animal because we have the ability to define many animal classes here if you select you can see this array animal types array at the moment i have only one but you can add multiple animal types therefore when we add animals into a pool we need to know what it would be better if we can know what type of an animal that i hold in the available pool so to allow that here oh, i just copied it i'll rename this as pooled animals and as for the key i will use t subclass class a actor so the key would be the class of the animal and the value would be this f tile animal data which contains an actor array now the next thing we want to do is in this remote tile instead of uh, removing or deleting these animals i need to add them into this pulled animals map so how do we do that let me delete this because no no actually don't delete it let me simplify this a little bit here let me take out the for loop and if we don't have animal data i'll do an early return so that we don't have a nested if we will not have for loop inside a if which should be simpler and then for each animal that we have in uh, in this spawned animals instead of really destroying them first i'll need to check if we already have a key value pair for the class of the particular animal that we iterate at the moment so for that i'll do this if tile animal data old animal data and i'll find it old animals no old animals old animals fine so as the key we can give animal data bond animals and get the class of current animal get class right and then if we have a valid value pulled in pulled animal data that means we already have a key value for key value pair pair for that particular animal class then all i have to do is pulled animal data spawned animals at the reference of current animal that means animal data i oh sorry animal data spawned animals i if not that means we have to add the key if key value pair with the first animal reference so for that pulled animal animals add the key would be animal data spawned animals i get class that's the key and the value is f tile animal data and we need to initialize it with the array of animal references so animal data i only take the current animal reference 
which is this. Okay, now here, then we can obviously empty the spawned animals. Let me compile and make sure no errors. Still, we don't have anything. Okay, no errors. All right, now let's go to the spawn object. So here, this is where we spawn. Before we spawn, we need to check if we have an animal that is available in the pool. So for that, I'll add another function here that returns an actor reference get animal from pool and I'll pass const t subclass of sector animal class wow. hey actor okay now let's create this function here right here I'll define an a actor reference animal and PTR and return animal now in the middle I can do this f tile animal data animal so here we are going to check in the pulled animals See if we have any animals in this given class. So animal class. Now if animal data is valid, that means we have a key value pair for the given class and also if animal data spawned animals wait animals num is larger than zero that means we have elements in that uh, spawned animal array for that particular class then into the animal ref pointer I'll put animal Owned animals right and pop what pop does is get the last element and remove it from the array and return it so in the animal I will have the last element uh, in the same time it will be removed from the array and then return whatever the value that I got in the animal point now here sorry here before I spawn let me do this a actor spawned actor equals get animal from pool and I'll plow I'll pass animal types i animal class now if spawned actor is null then I'll actually spawn it So maybe rather than call this calling this spawned actor, it would be better if I call this animal. 
yeah that should be better so if we do have a valid animal what we should do is as I need to relocate it that means animal set tag to location spawn location set it with the spawn location now animal will be relocated to whatever the location that we need so to test that here if I spawn I'll add a red line and if I get animal from the pool, I'll add a blue line. Okay. Now, let me save everything. Compile. Okay. Compilation successful. Let's test. Yeah, see? Now we got blue lines over there. That means we are using the animals, so reusing the animals from the pool. So if I go closer, you can see in the blue lines also we have these animal characters, Parlophosaurus. So, okay that's all i wanted to do for this episode so the system already supports having multiple different types of characters maybe in the next time let's work on how to have rules such as this kind of animal should be should only be spawned in maybe after this elevation or some animals should be in only after the waterline or the, in the beach so we can define such rules and we will look onto those things in the next upcoming episodes and as always thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and all the updated project files will be available for you to download in the Patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye